Hi everyone, and welcome to Creative Chelsea. If you like this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up or commenting below. If you want to see more of my videos, press the subscribe button and click on the bell for notifications. If you need any Stampin' Up! products to make this card, you can visit my online store and the link is in the description box below. When you purchase Stampin' Up! products through me, you can earn free products. Check out my current customer appreciation products on my blog and the link is listed below in the description. Today I'd like to share with you this fun interactive card. It's got these cute sheep that are jumping for joy because it's your birthday. So it's a fun birthday card that really anyone of any age would enjoy. I'm also showcasing some celebration items. These items are the Counting Sheep stamp set and the Coordinating Sheep dies. And you can get both of these items with a qualifying order. If you're interested in getting these items for free, make sure to click on the link that's listed below that says celebration. And that celebration is going until September 30th of 2021. So let's go ahead and get started making this card. Let's first begin with stamping these cute sheep. Now I have already stamped and colored and cut out two of the sheep, but I wanted to share with you a um, great tip for when you are wanting to shadow things that are white. So what I'm doing is I am coloring in the face, legs, and an ear in a dark color. And I've got smoky slate here. I have already identified the shadow areas in these items. And with I've done that with the dark smoky slate stamp and blend marker. And so now I'm going to take the light smoky slate and I'm gonna start blending the dark into the light. And that's just gonna lighten up that edge, but still give me a nice shadow effect for those um, parts of the sheep. So now we're going to move on to the um, lighter, fluffier part of the sheet. I have already highlighted the shadow areas with the light smoky slate marker, and I'm going to take the color lifter and I'm just going to add that over the light smoky slate just a little, just a little bit, just to get that color to lighten up a little bit and start to blend in with the white cardstock. So you'll get something like this. And now we're ready to cut this out with the coordinating die. So it's nice that both the stamp set and the die you can get for free. So make sure to look into that if you're interested in getting these cute sheeps. Okay, so now that I've cut that out, I'm gonna go ahead and add some cute birthday hats to the top of each uh, of the sheep. These are also part of the stamp set and you can cut them out with the coordinating dies as well. And I've just colored them all in different colors that are kind of bright and happy for a birthday card. So next, let's work on the background. So in the background of this pool party cardstock, I have added some light clouds. And I'm doing this with a window sheet that has been cut with the cloud from the basic border dies. And I really love these dies. They're really fun to work with and it comes with six different borders. And one of them is this cloud die. And so I've just cut, like I said, a window sheet with that die and I'm going to create some clouds here. And I'm gonna start a little bit lower than center. I've got a blending brush and I'm going to use a coordinating pool party ink pad. Just pick up some of that color and just start blending that onto the cardstock. You wanna make sure that you go over the window sheet so you can get a nice strong line. And then all you do is just bring it up a little bit higher, shift it over just slightly so that you get a different pattern and do it again. Now you don't have to do the whole thing. You could even just do a small section. 
and then maybe even match it up and do, or bring it up a little higher and do another small section. I'm actually gonna bring it down a little lower. So you get something like that with lots of overlapping and beautiful clouds for that background of the card. So next we're going to create some rolling hills and I'm doing that in pear pizzazz with another one of the basic border dies and this is just a nice round edge. What I'm going to do is I've cut out two pieces that are um, one is two inches tall and the other is one and a half inches tall. I'm going to begin by placing the edge of the die in the corner of one and then bringing that the um, middle of the die all the way up to the top edge like that. Adding a little washi tape and then I'm just going to run that through my stamp and cut and emboss machine and then do the same thing for the second one. Okay so you can see here that I did them opposite of each other. So the smaller one I started in the bottom right corner and went to the top of the on the left side and then with the larger one, I started in the bottom left corner and went to the top on the right side. And that's going to make it so that when they overlap, you're going to get that fun rolling hills kind of look to your card. All right, so before we add these to the card, I'm just going to add a little bit of color to them with some pear pizzazz ink and a blending brush. And I'm just going to do that right along the top edge. And this just kind of makes them feel a little bit more round and goes nicely with this sky, blended sky that we created. While I have the Pear Pizzazz ink out, I'm also going to use this little grass image and stamp that a couple times on my grassy hills. So to create this fun element, we need to cut out one of these um, turning wheel shapes with some window sheet. And this shape comes from the Give It A Whirl dies. And there are just lots of different dies that you can use to create interactive cards. So I really love that die set and definitely recommend it if you enjoy creating interactive cards or even just wanna try making them. It makes it really easy. So I'm going to run this through my stamp and cut and emboss machine. Be right back. Okay, so that's been cut. And the nice thing about this die is it also adds a little hole, I'm not sure if you can see that, for the a brad so that it can turn around that central point. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to kind of find where I want to place this, make sure that the um, hole gets covered by my grass. So it doesn't quite do that. So I'm actually going to bring it down just a little bit, make sure that it's still it's going to work. I could bring that up just a little bit too, if I needed to, but that should work right about there. Okay. So place that where you want it and then take your um, take a pick tool and you're going to put a hole through your pool party cardstock, just like that. And then you're going to take a brad. These are round and square brads. And I'm going to choose one of the small round ones. And um, I'm going to do it in white so that way it coordinates well with my card in case you can see it. So that just goes right there and open it up in on the back so that's nice and flat. And just make sure it turns really nicely. So next we're going to stamp our greetings on our clear wheel and our grass. And I am going to be using another stamp set called Best Year. And this is where I'm finding the Hip Hip Hooray. And that's going on my clear wheel here. And so I need to make sure that I don't get any embossing powder where I don't want it on my window sheet. So I've used an embossing buddy to remove any fingerprints or other sticky areas. And with some Versamark, I am going to stamp my greeting right here at the top of my wheel. I'm gonna try to make sure that it doesn't move around on me. I'm gonna pull in my white embossing powder and with a spoon, 
I'm going to just shake it over my stamped area and then tap off any excess. All right, that looks good. And then I'm going to do the same thing for my green hill. This is the big one here. But I'm using a different greeting, and this greeting does come from the Counting Sheep. It's the So Glad It's Your Birthday. I'm going to do the same thing where I use a little embossing buddy just to clean it up a little bit, and then use Versamark and stamp that right next to the edge of my hill. Add a little embossing powder, tap off the excess, and then we can heat both of these up. All right, so you do wanna be careful when you heat emboss window sheets because they can warp with that hot heat. So I'm gonna take a slightly damp um, paper towel and just clean up the background here because I put a lot of embossing buddy on there just to make sure that I didn't get any of that excess. It looks like I just got a little bit around the um, text there, but that should be okay. All right, so now we're gonna start adding pieces to our card. I'm going to begin by placing this larger hill and I wanna make sure that I'm covering that middle point. So it is gonna come up just slightly. I need to place a dimensional here. That's gonna help those pieces kind of move down underneath the um, hill. And then let's go ahead and place this one where we want it. So covering up that and making sure it all lines up nicely. I am gonna add another one right here underneath so that it continues to um, give the pieces on that spinning wheel enough room to move around. So you can see there's a nice gap there for those pieces. So the next piece we're going to add is our front and it's going to come right over that back one. And I am going to add a dimensional down here just to keep it all in the same level, but then I can place some adhesive here in the middle and along the bottom edge. Okay, so it will look something like that. If you have any pieces that are maybe hanging over, you can go ahead and trim it down. So next, let's go ahead and decorate it with some of the die cut pieces. These pieces also come from the sheep dies, which you can get for free as a celebration item. I'm going to begin with this cute um, fence here, and I'm going to place adhesive only on the left and right sides. And that just goes over here on the left. And then I can tuck in one of my um, sheep right inside there and just have him kind of hanging out, watching his friends jumping for joy because it is your birthday. Put a little adhesive on the back and then again, tuck him up so that he's just sitting right there. Do you see how his arm is coming up and over the fence? That is super cute like that. Then let's add some of these cute um, clouds. I did add a little more color to them with my blending brush and a little bit of that pool party ink, which is still on there. And then I can, I think I'm gonna go like this so that it gets more of the edge. And then I can just add these to the left open space on the card here. I am gonna place them with a little liquid adhesive as well. I like liquid adhesive because it gives me that chance to kind of 
move things around a little bit until I have it where I want it. And this one comes just to the right a little bit. I don't want it affecting the turning here, so we need to make sure that it gives I give it enough space from that wheel. And then I do have this cute sun that's tucked between the two clouds. If you wanted, you could add a little bit of um, color to that too, if you'd like. I, I cut that out of So Saffron cardstock. So we've got that kind of peeking out from behind the clouds. And so now we can just add our last two sheep and we want to place them on either side of our hip hip hooray. So this one kind of is jumping like that. A little adhesive. You want to make sure the adhesive is only going to be placed on the um, part of the sheep that will connect to the wheel. So right like that. Make sure that goes all the way around and doesn't get stuck. Looks like his hat is getting stuck on something. So I'm going to bring him down just a little bit. Maybe something like that. Okay, all the way around. And then let's do this one next. The same thing. We want to make sure that he doesn't get stuck or keeps the wheel from spinning. All right, so just double check that that is working really nicely. I think those guys are super cute as they kind of jump around and say happy birthday. So now we can trim anything that's coming off the edge and add this to the front of our card base. And I just have a card base of thick, basic white cardstock. And I'm just going to have a little border around my interactive card here. Now our card is all done and ready for you to send to someone for their birthday. I hope you enjoyed watching me create this fun card today. If you're interested in getting written instructions or close-up images of this card, you can visit my blog, creativechelsea.com. Thanks so much for watching. Have a creative day. Bye.